of 2020? If you're familiar with OnePlus smartphones, you already know that the T-Series best fits the company's early philosophy of giving you the best value for an affordable price tag. Compared to the Pro Series, T-Modules have cheaper prices but reserve the core experience and performance of a flagship. We are increasingly hearing complaints about the Pro's expensive price tag, which no longer aligns with the philosophy of flagship killer once popularized by OnePlus. So now the Pro models are just flagships instead of flagship killers. On the contrary, the more affordable T models can be called as flagship killers. But, how about the new OnePlus 8T? Let's check out in this quick review of the OnePlus 8T. Let's look at its design first. The OnePlus 8T comes with a different design philosophy than the previous models. The camera setup no longer lies at the top center of the back. Instead, like what we've seen on most 2020 flagships, it has been moved to the upper left corner. But to be honest, the design of the camera combination looks a bit ordinary and boring. Nothing really catches my eyes here. But OnePlus has still used a fantastic glass finish at the back which does lead to both outstanding visual and holding experience, whether it's the aquamarine green that we have in our hands or the lunar silver color. At first glance, what really impressed us is the lighter weight and thin body. The weight of around 190 grams is really unusual for a 2020 flagship smartphone and feels refreshing. 1 Plus 8T Display Review Over the past few years, OnePlus has invested heavily in its display making it a huge selling point for its flagship models. And from what we can see on the OnePlus 8T, we can indeed experience the high-quality display. So clearly the company's efforts have paid off and the screen deserves praise. Compared to the 2K display on the OnePlus 8 Pro, the 1080p display of the 8T can be considered as a downgrade. However, it's still one of the best 1080p smartphone displays in the market. To us. The biggest surprise of the 6.55-inch 1080p fluid display is neither the 120Hz refresh rate nor the certified HDR10 Plus support, but the smooth automatic brightness. With the maximum 1100 nits and 8192 level adjustable brightness, viewing dynamic contents on this display turned out to be a great experience no matter in indoor low-light conditions or bright outdoors. 1 Plus 8T Cameras Review as for the cameras, I think most of you won't be so excited. From the hardware perspective, the AT applies a 2019 flagship setup, a common quad combination led by a Sony IMX586 main camera sensor. Apart from this, the combination contains a 16 megapixels wide angle camera, a 5 megapixels macro camera, and another 2 megapixels monochrome camera. Unfortunately, there is no telephoto camera on the AT. Anyway, let's look at some samples shot from these cameras. Well, we actually didn't expect the Sony IMX586 to give us surprises as it has been in the market for almost two years. But when we compared the samples shot on the AT and the 8 Pro, we found that the AT is much more competitive than what we imagined. It's probably because when we compared it to newer flagship sensors, the IMX586 has got mature software optimization and now is able to maintain stable performance under most conditions. Under good lighting, the samples shot on the AT have no big difference from what we shot on the 8 Pro. From the color contrast to color preference, they shared a close image style and both produced excellent resolution. And the 48 megapixels original resolution of the IMX586 also allows users to catch more detailed images with the 48 megapixels high resolution mode. 1 Plus 8T Gaming Review Unfortunately, we didn't really have access to the best gaming performance of the 865 chipset on the 8T. It seems that for some reason, the software would have a 60 frame rate limit in some games. So in PUBG Mobile, Although we unlocked the 120Hz mode, the phone could only run it under 60fps without much fluctuation. The next game we played is Genshin Impact, which is a new game run on multiple platforms. For a fluent gaming experience, it extremely requires the high performance of CPU, and the game itself has a framerate lock of 60fps. Under the highest graphics, 
Most of the time the 8T maintained a high level frame rate, but the visual experience got a bit more fluctuated than what we expected. 1. Plus 8T Battery Review The performance of battery and charging is one of the few upgrades for the 8T. They both equip a 4500 mAh battery. And we did a 4 hour power consumption test between the 8T and the 8 Pro. Starting with full power, we continuously used these two models to play 720p videos for an hour, then used social media apps for another hour, spent another hour on TikTok, and finally played PUBG Mobile for the last hour. Due to the higher display resolution, the OnePlus 8 Pro eventually consumed 4% more power than the 8T in the test. After the test, the 8T still had 55% of power left, which is a pretty good battery result for a Snapdragon 865 phone, and we have to mention that it also has a 120Hz display.